basically targets the communications of everyone. It ingests them by default. It collects them in its system and it filters them and it analyzes them and it measures them and it stores them for periods of time simply because that's the easiest, most efficient, and most valuable way to achieve these ends. So while they may uh, be intending to uh, target someone associated with a foreign government or someone that they suspect of terrorism, they're collecting your communications to do so. We're bringing in a clinical and forensic psychologist, Jeff Gardier. Jeff, good to see you as always. So I've been listening to his interview all day here, and uh, he talks about himself sometimes in the third person, and he says he, you know, he, he wanted to perform his public service, if you will. Does it, does it sound like he's kind of full of himself? Does he sound like he's being sincere when he says he, he decided to leave his old life behind to, to give us this information, to leak this information? Well, it seems to me that he's being totally sincere because he's done something that some people consider to be courageous, others consider to be cowardly, but certainly it's something that he's done that is um, astounding. And certainly he has kissed his old life away. Uh, and for doing that, completely changed his life around. I believe he is operating on pure adrenaline and knows that his life will never be the same again. Suzanne, that being said, that that yes, uh, perhaps he believes uh, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few, and he had to tell America and the world about this, but I believe, uh, as you alluded to, that there are some personal things going on with this individual that may have led him to doing something so incredibly drastic. And we understand that, you know, he's, he's in a hotel, uh, he's, he's ordering room service, that his credit card uh, might not be uh, necessarily working for very much longer. I mean, he's going to run out of money. And he's now he's separated from his family, worried about his family as well. It doesn't sound like he had a long-term game plan. Can you give us a sense of, like, what kind of person, what kind of personality even is driven to doing something like this? Right. When we look at his personality, this is a guy uh, who only had a GED, not uh, extremely well educated, uh, but maybe is somewhat of a programming or computer savant that he's been able to work his way into the situation that he was in as far as his job, having this security clearance, making six figures and so on. So obviously this is a guy who's bright, but it's, uh, it speaks to someone perhaps who was understated for a long time, very rebellious, did things in a very different way, was very low-key, and then somehow along the way started gaining the courage to decide to make a complete change of his life, to awaken that giant within, if I may say that, but certainly he was having a very early midlife crisis by doing something like this that is so remarkable and so over the top. Is he rare? Are there people who are uh, like him or who aspire to be like this kind of personality? Well, there are other people who want to be like this. He wants to be like other people. But I think part of what's going on with this, Suzanne, is that he feels that this is his way of being able to change his life completely, uh, to be able to do something where he never has to look back again. But he has put other people in danger, and he said that he's done this. So in some ways, this is very, very impulsive, not well thought out, and they speak to a very impulsive personality. And, and finally here, Jeff, he says he doesn't believe he's done anything wrong. He does believe that he's, uh, you know, carrying out a public service here. But how, is there anything that the government or the NSA could have seen in this guy to have, like, you know, pushed him away and think, you know what, this one might be trouble? Uh, this is uh, an incredibly great question. Uh, we don't know how he got that kind of a clearance, especially just working his way in from uh, working security to getting this kind of a job. I think they should have looked at the fact that he was such an underachiever, but yet had this kind of intelligence and perhaps rebellious type of personality. Red flag should have gone off everywhere. Someone did not do their homework, and this guy got a pass all the way to the top. Really, really interesting. All right, Jeff Grenier. Thank you, Jeff. Really interesting, fascinating case, and we're going to be following it. A lot of people are just trying to figure out why he chose to leak all the classified information. But one of the most famous leakers ever, says Snowden, is really a courageous man. Daniel Ellsberg was once called the most dangerous man in America for.